Good afternoon to you, LockDoc coming through to you. All right, so here lies in front of us an 8215 or a passage function mortise lock. Uh, now this video is going to be short and sweet because being that it's a passage function, there's not really much going on on the inside of these. They've pretty much been stripped down to just about only the latch bolt. Um, when you look inside, what you can see is basically what I was describing. Very simple. Got your latch bolt here. The latch bolt is controlled by your spindle, uh, whether it be an outside lever. I guess it could be anything else. Um, what you will take note of, though, there is no auxiliary dead latch. Uh, so this lock would be vulnerable to the credit card trick of trying to come in here and, you know, kind of persuade this bolt to move in. Uh, so never use these on any kind of security door. Uh, this spring right here indicates that it's for a lever as opposed to a knob. The knob would actually use a lighter duty spring. Um, honestly, much more simpler than that. Uh, this is kind of the new hub design that they're going with. Uh, but if you look uh, here, this acts as just a spacer between the two hubs and it prevents the spindles from going in on each side. Um, if you wanted to rehand this, it can be done very simply. You just need to put the cover back on it. Uh, make sure your screws are in the right place. And you can actually take your screwdriver right along here and pry the bolt out. And once it gets to the point where it's clear of this faceplate, you can actually spin it. Um, it doesn't work so well when it's on a flat bench. It works actually great when it's on the edge of the bench. So you can actually work at it from the side here and flip it. Um, handing is not an issue on these aside from flipping this bolt because both sides are unlocked. Anyways, let's put this back together. Just like that. Uh, what's nice about showcasing this is when I talk a lot about mortise locks, um, usually when you're diagnosing the issue with them, you have to be able to differentiate, you know, this is the latch bolt area. So if someone's having an issue with the lock, and you got to figure out, is it relating to the latch bolt or is it relating to the lock locking and unlocking? Is it related to the deadbolt being thrown, if there was a deadbolt? Um, does it relate to, does the key just spin in there? So, I mean, there's kind of subsections within the lock body um, that you just kind of, you get kind of an intuitive knowledge once you deal with them a lot. So anyways, this is a great one just to showcase, you know, these are the main parts when you're talking about the latching and unlatching of a door. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.